I've been wanting to get back into cycling for some time now. However, Texas summers and winters allow for only a few months of comfortable riding, and I want to work on my conditioning all year round. So I decided to go with an indoor exercise bike. Wanting to stay within the $200 range, I looked at a number of bikes, but most of them did not have the features I was looking for. Owning a number of Titan Fitness products, I decided to take a look at their pro indoor cycling exercise bike and found that it had everything I wanted, and it was on sale for $198 at the time with free shipping. The flywheel is 40 pounds, and the entire bike weighs in at uh, 100 pounds. I weigh 220 pounds, and uh, I find this bike to be very stable. It does come with a small computer slash LED monitor, which I like, and we're going to take a closer look at later on. And I found this bike very easy to adjust, so that it fits me perfectly. So let's take a close up look at this bike. Having a comfortable saddle and good seating position is critical to having a good riding experience. The Titan Pro comes with a very comfortable saddle. I've uh, owned a number of bikes in the past with different saddles and this is probably one of the more comfortable saddles that I've used. It's very easy to adjust and uh, we're gonna take a look underneath the mechanism for attaching it to the bike is standard, so if you have another saddle that you like better, you can certainly use it here. And there's good knurling to attach it to. It's also very adjustable and has a wide range of front to back adjustment, which is very important, so you reach the uh, handlebars easily. And very simple knob pops in and out to uh, adjust that setting. And of course, everybody has different length legs, so adjusting the saddle up and down is very easy to do. Once you set this in position and tighten it down, you'll find it to be a very, very stable seating assembly. Another important aspect of having a good fit on your bike is uh, being able to adjust the handlebars to a position that works for you. And this is very easy to adjust just as we saw on the um, seating assembly in the back. And I was able to adjust this perfectly to my saddle height and for me. The only criticism I have of the handlebar assembly is that the angle of the handlebars are not adjustable. In other words, it's welded into place. It is certainly usable at this angle, but there are times I wouldn't mind uh, being able to tilt it up towards me a little bit while riding. Most of the time when we look at bikes, we really don't pay much attention to uh, pedals, but they're very important to our riding experience. These pedals do come with straps. I have a very wide foot. It's a 4E size 12, and uh, these straps are just, just fine for me. But I tend not to use the straps at all. I'll just use the other side of the pedal, and I think at some point I'll probably remove these straps. And all it takes is uh, those two screws or bolts right there. The pedal itself is designed with a very aggressive grip. So this will keep your shoes on the pedals no matter what kind of shoe you're wearing. And it'll keep your foot in place even in the more aggressive uh, pedaling sessions you might do. The tension control system on this bike is a very simple mechanism. So let's take a closer look at it. There's the tension control knob and of course the brake. The one thing I like about this tension control is that as you turn it, it uh, increments the pressure or the friction very gradually. So it's not like you turn it a little bit and it comes to a complete stop. Also, you notice the white brake lining is on there, pretty thick. Looks like they'll hold up for an extended period of time. But overall, I'm pleased with the nature and the um, engineering of this tension control system. One of the reasons I bought this bike over several others was this little LED monitor to monitor everything. So there you see the time. And as you press the little red bar, it'll take you to the next one. There's speed. You can also measure the distance. And then finally the calories. Also, you can set it up to scan. So let's watch it scan here for a second. So it's looking at time. It'll do that for a few seconds. Go over to speed. Watch that for a few seconds. Then it'll go over to distance. And then finally, it'll go back to calories. I like this as I'm doing my rides. 
uh, because I don't have to move my hands off the handlebars to adjust what I'm looking at. And also, it means I'm not looking at the same thing all the time. You can either allow your sessions to accumulate all together, or you can reset at certain points just by holding down that little red bar till it actually resets. But I really like this little LED monitor. If you have hardwood floors or laminate floors, knowing the type of uh, feet that are on this bike are going to be important to you. Uh, also notice the wheels are rather small, so if you have thick carpet with a lot of padding, it can be a little bit more difficult to move around. I have tiles, so it's fairly easy for me. But uh, all four of the feet have these little plastic or nylon paddings on the bottom, so they're not likely to mar or scar your laminate or hardwood floor. All four feet are adjustable. Mine came from the factory perfectly level for my floor. And as I said before, this bike is very stable, even with the adjustable feet. Now let's take a look at the fit and finish on this bike. I've had fitness equipment in the past that had some rough edges and actually snagged some of my athletic clothing. I can't find any of those types of edges on this bike. And as we look at the finish on here, it's all looking good. All the welds are nice and tight. The paint is consistent across the entire assembly. Again, looking at some of the welds. Good consistency in the paint. Again, looking at the welds. So overall, looking at this bike, I'm seeing a quality build. I'm not seeing any manufacturing marks or uh, scars or mars. And it certainly arrived without any difficulty uh, from uh, Titan Fitness. The only criticism I have of fit and finish is the bottle holder. I could not drive those screws in far enough to make this stable. So it looks like something that they uh, overlooked or took a shortcut on uh, at the factory. For those of you who are new to uh, indoor cycling, I put two links in the description below. The first one is for a YouTube video that describes how to set your bike up correctly. And it does have a short indoor exercise video to go along with it. The second link is to another YouTube video for an outdoor cycling experience that you can run on your television or your handheld or your tablet and watch while you're cycling indoors. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please press like and share with your friends. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, good luck with your fitness.